Hi guys and welcome back. Thanks for uh, coming back and joining me. Tonight I've got something a little bit different. Um, instead of doing a unboxing or um, a beard product review, I'm going to speak to you guys about um, brushes and combs. I'm going to show you the brushes and combs I use to style my beard. Um, I thought, yeah, I thought, why not? haven't really talked about brushes and combs and I thought I'll show you guys my few combs I have. The first one I'm going to show you, um, I don't use it anymore, but this, this one was my first ever purchase. When I first started my bearded journey long, long time ago, this is one I picked up. Got this on Amazon, wasn't very expensive, I think it was like five pound but this has seen over the years this has seen some serious beard oils balms and butters go through this and this smells now with all the oils this smells so different it's it's a lovely scent on it now you can imagine all the oils have soaked into the wood over the years and it's got such a pleasant I'll never throw this, never throw this comb away. This was my first ever beard comb. When I had a shorter beard, I used to use the the wider teeth. Although this one isn't actually that wide. I used to use the wide teeth, then I used to hit it with the real fine. But lovely little comb. I had it right at the start of my beard journey. So I thought I'll show you guys that one. I'm never ever going to throw that away. That's um. That's for me, I all started growing a beard, my first beard um, comb, so that's cool. Hope you guys are having a nice weekend. Right, my first one I'm going to show you is this one here. It's just a plain black plastic comb. And as you can see, the teeth are wide on it. This is what I use when I get out the shower or in the morning when I'm not having a shower because I'm going to work and I wash my face, get the beard all nice and wet. This is what I use and this is just a fluff him up untangler. This, this goes through the beard nice with those wide teeth, really nice. This wasn't very expensive. I think I just picked this up in the local supermarket. The only thing I will say, I have checked the teeth on this comb. What you get um, with a lot of factory produced combs, when they go into the mold and it's get pressed and they kick them out. If you've got a plastic comb at home, just have a look at the right at the edge where the teeth are. You should, if it's been factory pressed, you have to get really, really close. But if you see slight plastic edging on the outside of the teeth. Throw it in the bin. Because I years and years ago, when I was growing my beard for like the first time, I didn't know, and I had a plastic comb. And I watched a video on someone and they explained the reason, exactly what I've just said. As it's been fact, factory pressed, you get a mold go round the go round the tooth, very, very hard to see, but it's a jagged edge. And when you comb through your beard, it actually can cut at your beard and it strips, it's so, it's so small of an edge, it's hard to see, but you can see it from the eye. If it's there, you can see it. And the only reason I say throw them is because if you carry on using it, it'll, the jagged edge over time will actually cut your beard and it will it will um it'll just gently graze down the hair so this one is plastic and i have gone over this very very carefully to check there was none of that plastic i like the look of this one purely just an untangler this goes through the beard lovely especially after a shower straight through the beard get it all nice ready for the oil so that's what I use first thing in the morning or at night after a shower 
but yeah do me a favor guys if, if you have got a uh, plastic comb just have a look at the teeth just make sure it hasn't got that horrible press because that's what it is it's when it's been factory pressed down in a mold it molds down boom they kick them out and you're left with a just a slight edging around the um, tooth and that will damage your beard in time so have a look for me anyway so that's that one that's what i use detangler cheap wasn't very expensive i think i paid oh, i don't know about four quid anyway once i've used that one and i've gone through with my detangler i use and i love this comb this is my kent had this a long time what's it is the yeah the kent kent handmade saw cut 90. this isn't factory pressed and this is a lovely lovely comb as you can see you've got your your thicker edge there then you've got your thinner edge i don't tend to use the thinner edge much i tend to use the slightly wider and once i've gone through with the detangler and i put my oil in this is my next go-to again fluff it right up pushing the beard right out and this just glides through my beard you do obviously still get the occasional snag of course you do no one no one is ever never going to snag but this one i do like i have had in the past plenty of wood combs which are nice but for me i do like this kent goes through my beard so nice I don't get static off it. I know some people say with plastic, you can get static. I don't find it with a Kent. It just goes through so nice. And I really can play. It's just, it's just a really nice comb. And I've had this probably, oh, I've probably had this comb three years. Still the first one I've bought. I bought this again in a shopping precinct. And I think, I think the Kent, I think he was about 10 quid. 9.99 something like that but lovely lovely comb if you have a look on youtube at some of the reviews people do rate the kent anyway for me i like the kent and that's what i use so the detangler going through the kent a sip of water a minute been one of them days today i'm trying to i'm trying to drink as much water as i can i'm fine in the week i uh, with work i seem to be drinking plenty of water i get to the weekend i like i forget to drink it <laughs> and i can tell because my beard dries up mm. technically the two um, combs i've shown you is really what i use on a, a daily basis that's the two i use in the morning before going to work and that's the two I'll use when I come home after a shower in the evening. What I have got as well is I've got two bore brushes. First one is a real smart one. I picked this up from Rusty Bear, UK company. Love the logo. Awesome. Alpha. And this one here is a real nice, just a soft a soft boar's hair brush and basically i use this do the oil comb all through do my butter or balm comb through and i actually like a boar's brush because all i do when the product's in especially with balm all i do with this one is i just gently go down the beard i'm not putting any pressure whatsoever i'm not pushing it into my face i'm gently going down the beard and i'm letting the hairs of the boar's brush do what it's meant to do i'm not putting no pressure on this nice and gentle and i like a boar's brush because i find actually when i've got more with balm but with butter as well i find doing this it just nicely tucks away my flyaways obviously i haven't got product in as i'm doing it now so but i always like a boar's brush some people say you can use them just short beards i've never found that even when i have my beard longer than this i just found 
after I've used the combs, when the product's in and it's all combed through nice, every day I go over with this and I just find nice and gently, it just tucks it in. It just tucks everything in and, it, and it's ideal. And that one there, as I said, is a real soft one. Rusty Bear, UK company, I got this, soft one. I got one more. I won this actually years ago on a giveaway. Smoky Mountain, it's a US company. Uh, unfortunately, they don't ship to the UK, but the whole purpose of this is this one is a real stiff, real hard. I mainly use the soft, but from time to time, I will go over with the stiff one. This, this will push your hairs where they're in place, where they're meant to lie. This one's a real stiff one. I mean, if you really put this on your face and pulled hard, you would you would know about it. This one's a real stiff one. It's a good size though, nice. Again, you can pick, obviously not this one, but you can pick these up online, you know, fairly cheap. And I like this one as well. Some sometimes we all we all have a bad beard day, don't we? Some days you put your product in and your beard's just like, nah, didn't working. So I I sometimes have to go for the strong just to try and try and get it in, get it in place. But yeah, again, I'm I'm not putting any I'm not putting any pressure. I'm certainly not pushing this into my face in any way at all. All I'm doing all I'm doing is dragging it down just enough so the hairs on the ball brush actually touch my beard and it's just enough when you've got your balm or your butter or whatever you want it's just enough to tuck them in can't stop doing it now <laughs> so that's the two two ball hair bristle brush I've got one is super soft I use every day that's just my go-to I use it every day on a day I'm having a real bad beard day like I said everyone has them you put product in and your beard's like no no sorry no I normally hit it with the stronger brush and that is just purposely trying to trying to get it to do something get it in place that's the two I got for you guys yeah and that's that's literally my selection of brushes and combs that's this is all I use. I got two of these, one strong, one soft, and I use my cheap little detangler, which is an, is so good. It whips through the beard so nice without without pulling hairs. It with the teeth so wide, it goes through the beard a treat. Um, and I got my old faithful Kent, which I love a Kent, and I've I've had this one years. It's the only one I've had, it's a flipping beauty. Um, so that's my collection of brushes and combs for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I am actually thinking, I am tempted, I wouldn't mind actually um, getting myself an Oxhorn comb. I've heard some good things. If you guys have an Oxhorn comb um, and you've, and and you get on with it and you think it's really good drop me a message and let me know which company I've, I've I think there's a couple of companies I know what um, do them but um yeah if you guys use Oxhorn combs and you love them drop me a message down below and just give me a heads up which companies to look for and um, and again if you guys want to drop me a message down below I would love to know what what combs and brushes you guys use That'd be awesome to know what you guys use. If you use combs, if you use just boar's brush, if you drop me a message down below, that'd be awesome to find out what you guys use. But um, yeah, once again, it was just a quick, quick little video tonight, touch base. I thought, yeah, for a, for a change, we won't do unboxing or um, a review. I thought it'd be nice to speak about my combs actually. And just, I'm generally interested to find out what other people uh, use actually. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll be back next week. I got a couple of unboxings. Should be um, landing any day soon. And you know me, I've always got some reviews coming. Uh, thanks again to everyone who subscribed to the channel. 
really really um thanks so much just means a lot um hope you guys all enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you soon take care